four off the block of Vailups, and we are now here with MPSF Fies, the man himself, Jonathan Bates. We are in Columbus, ready to go for the NCAA tournament, a couple hours away from Penn State versus Hawaii. Now, Jonathan, you've had a great opportunity to see to see Hawaii in person this year. What is your assessment of the team, and what can they do effectively in a match? I'd say that the biggest thing that I've noticed is the improvement of Jenny and Francis Kovic, their setter. They're um, hitting at a much higher clip this year, and uh, he, he took the summer off, and he looks like a new player, and that's probably been the key to uh, their success. Of course, uh, we, we'd be amiss if we didn't talk about uh, Simon Van Tilburg, the, the greatest or the best uh, opposite this year because he's been, he's been injured at BYU and he's been uh, he, another key to their success as well. Um, yeah. yeah, and I think that's going to be one of the fascinating storylines in this match. How does Penn State scheme a little bit to stop Von Tilburg? I think that maybe one of the more exciting matchups is going to be in this one. It is going to be Matt Callaway, the All-American mill blocker, really trying to slow down Stein Von Tilburg. I think that should be a fun one because Von Tilburg can leave and Callaway has some good blocking hands. The, the question for me is, that, uh, uh, will Hawaii have the services of Hendrick Mull? He uh, got injured in the uh, MPSF final and uh, talking to the uh, uh, Hawaii SAD, he's a game time decision, and which means that he's not 100%. And he it was another uh, six, uh, key to their success this year. So if they can have the, their services, then Penn State might have a shot at uh, pulling off the upset. Yeah, very interesting with Hendrick Mull. He was out here on the court a little bit earlier during Hawaii's warm-ups. Was on the court doing some stretching, some light running, a little bit of jumping, but wasn't putting any weight when he landed on the ankle that he injured. So definitely an interesting game time decision. You know, I think one of the other fascinating things to talk about this match, when we talk about experience, a lot of times we think Penn State has all this NCAA tournament experience. But you look at the roster, not a whole lot of NCAA tournament experience on this team. They have a lot of freshmen, a lot of sophomores, their first NCAA tournament match. It'll be big to see how they respond when you have some senior leaders like Chris Nugent, who's been here before. And then Hawaii, a little bit similar. Francisco Bitch has been here before. So it'll be fascinating to see how that plays out. I agree. Um, I, uh, another player that I will, I will keep an eye out on is uh, Larry uh, Tuyoleta. He uh, doesn't get the pub that uh, the other players do, uh, but top three of libero in the country, and uh, it, it, uh, everybody thinks of Hawaii if you think of their uh, top block, but uh, don't, uh, don't forget about uh, Tuyoleta. Yeah, well, it's going to be a fun matchup, some a fun defensive and offensive matchup, mainly the marquee matchup of the NCAA tournament play around that's going to be Hawaii versus Penn State. You can follow it later on tonight and you for all your men's volleyball coverage, you're going to want to stay here at offtheblogblog.com.